So let's look at how we use the Whois database and reverse IP lookups for uh, internet investigators. So we're looking into candidate websites. So if you put fake Nikes into Google, for example, and the fifth one down here you see is shoebagsell.com. A bit suspect. Looks doesn't look particularly official. Then go to the Whois lookup centralops.net into that into there and you find various details including an email address and if you plug that email address simply back into into Google you'll find other websites that have registered with that email address so we see here house jerseys um, and then Nike DEY.com. Let's see what that, that comes back. And there we go. Um, that website's been shut down for selling counterfeit products. So we know we're, we're dealing with a network linked to counterfeit goods. And take another one of them, In Shoe Sell. And that, uh, that links straight back to the original website we were looking at. Um, so it forwards straight onto that one. A third one. AAA shoe shop com. Put that in. Just go to that website. Oh, and again, that uh, that one redirects to ToryBirch.com, Their counterfeit page. So clearly, that domain has been seized by Tory Birch and forwarded to their counterfeit goods website. Uh, now, using Hurricane Electric, we'll do some IP reverse IP lookups on that original website. So you put that into Hurricane Electric. And you can you can use the who is on this as well. It has the same who is details. I find central ops a little bit better for who is lookups. So but for the DNS information, click on the IP address there, the A record, and you can see it has twelve hosts associated. So there's twelve different websites hosted on this one IP address. And again, look look at that one, that's Tony Nike.net. Sounds a bit suspect. Go to Tony Nike again, very similar, pretty poor quality website with a different uh, domain name on the top. Another one, let's take another one, buyinshoes.com. Let's look at that again, very similar makeup to the website. And try a third one, it's selling different, it seems now. Yeah, that's selling YSL jeans. Now put that one back into the domain who is the domain uh, who is database and again we find this time different email address so we can just grab that email address stick that back into Google and do the same thing again as we did originally and again we find even more websites linked zjerseys.com and again Check out what Zed Jersey is doing. It's a very quick way of finding a huge number of counterfeit websites all linked to each other. Again, that looks like a slightly dodgy Chinese website. Let's try one one more from this original server, i ifashionbuy.com. It's a bit more professional looking, that one. Selling uh, Oakley's. Allegedly, real Oakleys, and let's put that one back in for the Who Is lookup into the Who Is database, and again we find a number of details, including a different email address. Again, and this email address is Nike NFL Shops at one two six dot com. So clearly linking the. This is yeah, Nike NFL shop .biz, linking between the, the glassware and potentially other counterfeit goods. I'm waiting for this to come up and yeah, very similar selling NFL jerseys this time. They all look very suspect and they're all, all based in China. Again, put this back into the who is or we'll do a IP lookup 
on this Nike NFL shop. Different IP address, so we'll see if there are any other websites on that server. And it says there's three there, so go to DNS. And there you go, Jersey Windows, Nike NFL shop, and Nike NFL.biz. So this isn't evidence of um, anything legal, but we can definitely say there's intelligence suggests that there's a whole kind of it in network and very easy to find just by Googling and using the Whois database and reverse IP lookups. Very useful investigators tool, all for free.